is Penny. That's just Penny from the Junk Dollar Ministry. Oh, a new Women of the Bible study uh, workbook as well. It's the Queen of Sheba. Um, it is completed. I haven't. There we go. So there's a beautiful purples. Basically, it's the same as, as the um, tomorrow one, but it's different colors. Different colors. So if you wanted to use this as a planner, or as a Bible journaling, art journaling, faith journaling, you could use that as well. Here is the Queen of Sheba lesson. It is ready, the devotional. It is, it's also uh, on the website ready to go. All this is already on the website free. Um, and then I have the, um, the journal as well. I have the journal. This is the study book right here. This is the Women of the Bible study book for Queen of Sheba. It has all this. I've added a stencil template, margin art, and the prayer pocket, and then the planner pages, and then and the journaling pages. So that is the study book. I have added a template for a new um, pocket. Super excited for that. Um, and this is what uh, you have to excuse. I had some printer issues. Um, here is a stencil, or you could use these to trace either one. If you have a machine, you could run this through and it will cut all those out, or you could cut those out by hand, um, or you could just use it to trace. This is the suggested um, Bible journaling um, suggested example. And this is a margin art example. And also it has these collage papers. I love these collage papers. Aren't they pretty? This is like broken china. And I put all the pages together and then made a cover page. And then I realized, well, that's a pretty collage. So I left this as a collage. Um, and here are the elements. And these are the pockets. And these are the tucks. There's new little corner tucks for as well. Um, so these are some vintage uh, items that came from... Uh, some public domain books. So I'm super excited. Here's some more pockets. And of course, here's the template included. And here's all the journal pages. So if you uh, love making traveler's notebooks um, and then uh, are just a regular junk journal, you can most certainly use these pages. Whether you study about uh, Queen of Sheba or not, you can still use these pages. And I did have uh, did print these off, and you have to excuse my printer I had some issues. I want to tell you about the Microsoft, the new Microsoft uh, update kind of messed with my printer. So now when I go to the File Explorer or the File Manager, I can't just right mouse click and print. So I don't know what's going on. So anyway, this is some issues that I had, but I did print these off. Um, and you can tell that some of them have the lines that they're not supposed to have. And that's because the printer was having issues. But anyway, um, I just love these pages. I did add some light pages. So if you can't see it, it's because it's, it's light. I absolutely love this page. This page was designed using, look at those. These came from a, a book of embroidery. I just, an old public domain book, and I just love that look, you know. It's just so pretty. Um, and then writing pages for you to write um, a journal on. I just love it. There is the Queen of Sheba. And, of course, like I said, if you don't, you know, you don't want anything about the Queen of Sheba, you still can use these. You still can use these as a journal in your junk journals. Look at this one. This is kind of remind me of a boho type um, theme, doesn't it? A little camel on it, cute. I love those. And these are it's public domain book pages. Um, and then I just cropped out what I wanted. So it can look like a little uh, boho if you wanted to. Kind of a boho theme. I did add some glitter. Can you see digital glitter? I should say. Look at this. I did a lot of layering. This took a long time, but I absolutely love this. There's like, I don't know, 30, 40 layers in this piece of broken china. But it's... <laughs> Isn't it really cool? It's actually a vintage uh, a print. It's a vintage uh, collage piece. I just, I love it. And then I added a lot of different things in here to make it look like broken china. And then I added the glitter, the digital glitter. I hope you can see that. And there's a darker one. Uh, I'm sorry. This are, I printed these um, 5 by 8, you know, or 8 by 10 on the, you know, and the computer and then um i did these borderless because my printer is an epson echo and it does borderless so these are my covers i always print my covers borderless or my scrapbook paper so that i can use them however uh, so i just printed two this was see the lines 
See what happened when the printer, if you don't set your printer correctly up of the Epson's, um, if you don't do standard and you don't go in there and set it up for digital printing, sometimes you'll get these lines. No worries, you just have to, I've got uh, videos if you need to know how to set up the Epson Echo so you don't have those lines if you are experiencing and again i did experience the lines but you know what i'm not going to waste these sheets i'm just going to use them so i'm always you know trying to use these this is beautiful i love this piece of china it's actually a tile of it's an old it's a vintage tile piece um and these as well i love using those it's queen so i thought that kind of you know nothing about playing cards or anything like that it's just about the queen um and this is sort of a boho-ish type style I love these. And this also came from a, a public domain um, book. And I've just done all the digital part to it. These did too. And this is the new pocket design. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the tuck. I'm sorry. It's a pocket tuck or a tuck. I mean, this is the new one. I love this. Love it. And this is actually created from a public domain lace um, that was um, in a book of lace. Yeah, and actually, I just turned it into pocket. Yeah, this is actually lace that was back in the 1930s, I think it was, 1920s. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed looking at the new um, Queen of Sheba. Let me get the, the Queen of Sheba. And this is the study book and workbook. And then this is all the junk journal, the margin art, and all that good stuff that I usually create for each woman of the Bible. So I'm super excited. I will do the women of the Bible margin art coming up in a video as well. A 